What's up guys, thanks for stopping by, I hope you're doing good. Recently, I've made a few videos about the new Hilda's Request update, and so far, we've been covering all of the new features and content that it has to offer. However, I haven't really discussed my own personal opinion on the update and the content, and whether or not, I think it's any good. So in today's video, we're going to be doing something a little bit different and we're going to be giving you guys my thoughts on the update and whether or not I think it's worth your time, it enhances the game and is potentially worth coming back to the game for, for any players that may have stopped playing Valheim. So let's jump into it. Okay, there's lots to talk about in this update, but I think we have to start out by talking about the actual Hilda's Request part. So I'll briefly summarize in case you guys haven't seen my other videos, but this update adds the new NPC and basically, in a nutshell, there's a few new mini bosses that have been added to the game, the drop items that you have to return to Hilda, and in return, you'll unlock new items that you can buy from her. The first thing I feel like is worth noting about this new NPC is the fact that she is a little easier to find. First of all, she spawns in the meadows where the line of sight is a lot less obstructed than the Black Forest, for example. But also, meadows are obviously a really easy biome to survive in. They're not filled with mobs like some other biomes. So you can actually explore these biomes a lot faster. So I don't think you'll find her necessarily a ton faster and a ton easier than finding Haldor, but it should be a little easier and I think that will make a difference because lots of players experience quite a lot of frustration when trying to find Haldor. So that I think is definitely a good thing. As for being able to buy the item you need to make the barber station, I think that is actually a really cool item for a trader to sell and whilst the barber station isn't the biggest deal, I do think it is a nice little fun thing to be able to add to your base. And for people that like to make really cool elaborate base designs, it is a really cool model that could make a really nice set piece in a bedroom or something like that. And of course, you know, it is fun to be able to change the way your character looks, especially if you're going to be sticking with the same one for hundreds of hours. Now, before we get on to the other stuff or the other cosmetics that you unlock, let's talk about the bosses, because this is actually one of the most positive things about the Hilda's Request aspect of the update. The addition of having a variation on certain existing dungeons like the new burial chamber, the new ice cave, and the awesome new tower in the plains. All those things are awesome. For the bosses themselves, I actually think they look super cool. I actually love the fact that Brenner has this crazy fire sword. It's actually one of the coolest spectacles when fighting any enemy in the game right now because it's actually pretty unique. And it's almost Dark Souls-esque, dare I say, to see a boss like this in Valheim. And in fact, all of these new mini bosses, they have a nice variation of attacks and animations in a way that actually we don't see even that much of the main bosses in the game. So I really love the attention to detail on these bosses. And particularly when it comes to the new boss in the Ice Cave and the new boss in the Plains Fortress, those do provide a pretty unique challenge level and those bosses bosses being amongst a ton of enemies definitely do complicate things and so players that wanted a little bit more challenge from the game outside of the main bosses I think you should be very happy with this and I personally do think that these mini bosses are an awesome addition to be honest maybe even a little on the difficult side for some players even on normal settings however I think that is absolutely fine because they are completely optional. So overall, I think the bosses are awesome. That brings me on to my next point. One potential downfall of this is that there seems to only be three different spawn locations for these unique dungeons that contain these bosses. And so that actually does kind of make each of these mini bosses a little bit of a needle in a haystack. Now, I think this is actually cool in some ways because I think games do benefit from having some pretty rare scenarios that create exciting new combat moments like a random mini boss that is not very common because discovering it in itself is actually part of the reward, especially when it involves some unique and fun gameplay like these actually do. So I think that is actually cool. But that brings me on to my next point, which is the actual rewards. Now, when you beat these bosses and you hand the chest to Hilda, you unlock new cosmetics that you can buy. And I do think all of the new clothing is really well designed and looks really nice and is kind of a fun, wholesome addition to the game in general. But considering how rare 
the boss dungeons are and how difficult some of them can be particularly for some casual players i don't think these are good enough rewards i do think lots of players are gonna find it a little bit pointless to just unlock clothing and that may reduce people's desire to really do this stuff and so that is actually one of the biggest negatives about the update now i want to clarify how i actually feel about it personally i think the reward for the gameplay and sort of the sense of discovery and particularly if you're like a completionist the experience of actually finding and doing these bosses is kind of fun so this isn't a huge negative for me personally but it is a little bit of a negative and I would prefer if there was some more substantial reward, like a new weapon or a new piece of armor. And there's something that had more of a purpose and a function rather than just something to look at. Now, I like nice things to look at. I think the clothing should still be there, but I'm just hoping that Iron Gate will add something more practical to the list of items that you unlock for doing this stuff. Because while I acknowledge that the gameplay is fun of doing these bosses, one aspect of playing video games and of core video game design for decades now is also the sense of reward that you get and part of that sense of reward comes out of the actual reward literally that you get and a lot of players are definitely going to argue that there is little to no reward now there is a caveat to this which is with the planes boss because the fortress itself is its own reward because this now provides one of the best and most unique locations to build your base and this is potentially what makes this the most rewarding boss to actually do and so i am actually totally okay with how this works out because it provides a unique location that you can build in but we're probably going to talk more about that in another video and just to tie up my thoughts on this part of the update the overall gameplay loop and experience is really cool i just wish there was a little bit more of a reward but it's not massively disappointing to me it's still awesome i'm excited about the content itself it's just for sure lots of people won't be happy about this so now let's talk about world modifiers now it's pretty interesting because Lots of the focus on this update is going to be on the new dungeons, the new bosses, the new NPC. But actually, I think world modifiers are something that affect the future of Valheim much more than anything else in the update. And I think in the short term, it makes sense for people to be more excited about these bosses and stuff. But in the long term, these world modifiers are going to be much more commonplace and are going to become a bigger part of people's regular Valheim experience than any of the rest of the content in this update. And so I think the world modifiers in general are amazing i think everyone's pretty much aware by this point that one of the first things that people do when they play survival games is install some sort of mod that buffs the resources you get so you don't have to spend forever farming resources and one of the coolest things about valheim when it came out was the function that it had portals already because also in lots of other survival games one of the most common mods was to add portals to the game so that you didn't have to traverse such long areas and so that's also why i think having the ability to allow you to port anything with one of the sliders now for portals in the game is great because i thought it was kind of interesting that iron gate made it that there were certain materials that you can't port because that feature of the game is clearly inspired by a bunch of mods that were intended to cut out a bunch of monotonous traveling now i do think particularly when you're new to valheim it's a part of the core experience to have to haul mats and there's definitely a certain level of enjoyment in it i'm totally not against it i don't think that's bad or anything i think it's great but look lots of people play these games like me for thousands of hours not just hundreds of hours and when you play the game a lot and you do multiple playthroughs you get pretty bored of just sailing back a bunch of iron pretty quickly so this is a really awesome addition and same goes for the difficulty slider look most experienced players are looking for ways to make the game more difficult and that is in here as well which is great but there's also a ton of casual players that totally bounced off Valheim when it came out and just quit playing because they found the game too punishing too difficult they didn't like that they dropped all of their stuff and whilst lots of dedicated players may not be willing to acknowledge this it's something that i've seen in my comments and my chat a bunch since valheim has been released so i think this is a fantastic addition and to wrap up my thoughts on the world modifiers in general look the bottom line is 
Traditionally, with survival games, players love to be able to really, really hone in and customize their gameplay experience to be exactly how they want it. And this is why mods are so popular in these type of games. But one of the problems with mods is that the process of modding games is a little inaccessible for some casual players. So this is an absolutely amazing addition to the game that I think Iron Gate really deserves to be praised for because it is super cool. And lastly, there are also a bunch of other quality of life things in this update, like being able to skip the intro and change how snapping works. And all of these things are of course welcome additions. There's nothing to criticize there. And again, it's something else that Iron Gate deserves some praise for, for still working on little quality of life things and not just new content because quality of life really matters and i think the quality of life additions in this update are really good so to wrap up i just want to clarify because i know the developers are going to see this i think iron gate did a great job they deserve great praise for this update most people thought that this was going to be a really small update without major content additions and again they surprised us with just how much is packed into it and it actually feels like a much more major update than just like a mid-season update waiting for the next big biome and overall the quality of the content the awesome new models and animations and bosses and hilda overall it's amazing quality they did a fantastic job and it's clear to me that a lot of love and care went into the update and all of the world modifiers are going to be a huge deal for all different kinds of players but i would like to see a more substantial reward for beating what are quite difficult new bosses that are quite hard to find and i do feel if you're going to expect players to invest a lot of time into something they should get a little more out of it than what they currently do in this version of the update but maybe that will change and i don't want this one opinion in the video to overshadow what is overall an extremely positive opinion on an excellent update and to conclude if you haven't played valheim for a long time i do think hilda's request is worth returning for particularly if you're somebody that really cares about doing epic builds maybe you would like a more passive experience and being less bothered by invasions and mobs and bosses this update is perfect for you especially with the world modifiers and especially because of the new snapping options this update is also perfectly for you and i think you should return to the game to play it if you also wish the game was more difficult and more challenging because not only are the new bosses to find and beat but the world modifiers also add a new hardcore mode and a new difficulty slider which makes bosses twice as difficult if not more so so in short i think it offers a little something for everybody it is not a big biome update like mislance that's not what it was supposed to be but it's substantially enough that it's definitely worth your time if you're somebody that really loves this game all right guys that's just about going to do it for this video if you enjoyed it or you found the information useful please leave a like and subscribe for future content and leave a nice positive comment for the youtube algorithm if you would like to support the content financially and help keep my dream alive then you can do so on patreon at patreon.com slash nick so i'll leave a link in the description to that as well i do stream live on this very youtube channel and also live on twitch at twitch.tv slash nick so i'll leave a link in the description if you're interested in that you can follow me on social media and join my discord at the links below i hope you enjoyed this video and until next time have a good one